change strip of striped jerseys. No time to settle. But this penalty claim as Neil McCann is laid horizontal was rejected by referee Les Mottram. The early pressure was incessant. Good play in the right this time. And across to match from Ray Farningham. McCann with the header. But when it eventually falls for Jim Hamilton, Hart's goalkeeper Henry Smith produces a wonderful point-blank save. Dundee were playing sweet stuff with Danish internationalist Morten Vickhorst, very much the orchestrator. All of this leads to another chance for Hamilton. Still the goals wouldn't come, despite the fact the close calls were becoming more and more frequent. That mix-up in the Hearts defence allowed Paul Tosh to present the latest threat. Even Route 1 wouldn't work. Michel Pagot joined the attack threat by launching one forward, and when Tosh delivered the cross, it found Hamilton out of luck yet again. Just in case you thought Hart's hunt actually turned up, this was their one real threat of the half. John Cahudno didn't really trouble Pagot. Dundee just had to score and they finally did nine minutes before half time. Paul Tosh worked back well, won possession and sent a superb reverse ball to George Shaw. This time there was no mistake, 1-0 Dundee, George Shaw the scorer. And by half time Dundee were two up, Smith tries to organise his wall at a free kick but Dundee moved quickly. When the ball comes in it's George Shaw with his and Dundee's second. Half time, 2-0 Dundee. But it was all changed after the break. Hearts pulled one back nine minutes into the second half. John Cahoon putting a free kick for Dave McPherson to head home. Suddenly the tide was turning and the D must have thought it had fodded them 20 minutes later. Hearts about to level things courtesy of John Cahoon with the easiest goal he ever scored and the Dens defence marked absent. But the drama had a long way to go. And if you thought the Dundee defending had been bad, how about this for a Tyne Castle nightmare? Henry Smith about to operate a free gift scheme, and Paul Tosh thinks it's Christmas. But with Dundee screaming for the full-time whistle, an incredible game was about to spill into extra time. Cahoon crosses... And Alan Lawrence breathes life into hearts once again. Astonishing stuff. Now, just in case you're not keeping up, that made it 3-3 and introduced extra time. Dundee went ahead for the third time and did it with the goal of the game. Great build-up play, an absolutely international class finish from Morton Vickhorst. A goal worthy of winning a cup tie, but not this one. Coming up, a penalty award to hearts, with Neil Duffy seemingly guilty of a push on Alan Lawrence. At the end of it all, John Robertson weathered the pressure, made it 4-4, and his spot kick took the tie to a penalty shootout. That shootout was as dramatic as the rest of the night. At 4-4 in spot kicks, Willie Jimison hit the post, and that left Vykhorst with this to put Dundee into the semi-finals. Mission accomplished but breathtaking entertainment all the way with Hearts making a major contribution and Dundee's fans quail in the mood for celebration 